Hi, in this video, I will do a quick update on the RISC-V RV32i project that I have added C extension to it. C extension allows the processor to use 16-bit compressed instruction set. I will make a few notes about the updates to the RV32i core, and for just one case from my previous demo video, I will check how much code space savings that I could have from the compressed instruction set. This is the block diagram I have from previous video. I needed to do a few updates to make it work with three atos. In this work of adding C extension, I will focus on the processor core itself. First, we will dig a bit deeper into the implementation of the core. In addition to adding the 16-bit compressed instruction decoding and execution logic, there's a bit more I need to update. There are basically two functional units that can access the memory bus from the processor core. One is the memory load and store unit. The other is the instruction fetch unit. In my previous implementation, I did not use any buffer for the instruction fetch. Unlike another PCXT project I did before, that I put a 6-byte prefetch buffer for the 8086 processor implementation. It was just convenient for me not to use any prefetch buffer to get some quick implementation result. The memory bus was 32 bits, and the instruction fetch was always 32 bits. Now with C extension of 16-bit instruction implementation, according to the documentation, there can be any combination of 16-bit and 32-bit instructions in the instruction stream. Then I need something to handle this dynamic arrangement of different instruction bit size. It seems the right time to put a prefetch buffer in between the core instruction fetch unit and the external memory bus arbiter unit. The prefetch buffer is a very simple one. It always fetches the next linear address word without doing any branch prediction. On the other hand, it serves either a word in 32 bits or half word in 16 bits to the instruction fetch unit inside the processor core. No fancy stuff. So the updates are adding the prefetch buffer and then 16-bit compressed instruction decode and execution logic per RISC-V documentation. No other change on the overall block diagram. I was able to use a smaller ROM for the demo code that I had before. For the previous demo running with free atos, the code space was about 18 kilobytes. By adding the C extension and recompiled the source code with the processor C option, I got about 14 kilobytes of code space for the same source code. That's about 22% code space savings. It's not some 30% I read somewhere, but it'll have to be good enough for now. On the FPGA board I have, I actually have a 32 megabyte SD RAM on board, but I'll need to do some planning of how to do a demo or what's the near-term target of making such updates. Before I close this update, I will show another short demo video. I modified some code and make the previous demo video now look more like the Brick Breaker game. Now that's about it. Until my next project update, thanks for watching.